My name's Sophina. I'm a single working mum. I've got a beautiful daughter called Elfini. She's seven and a half years old. And I support us with my creativity, which is a blessing. So last year I was diagnosed with a grade three aggressive breast cancer and um, very quickly had a mastectomy and decided that I would take the alternative route of healing. And so I went down the path of alkalizing my diet and taking lots of supplements. I just researched the minefield that is the internet and talked to lots of different people and just picked up pearls of wisdom along the way that resonated with me at the time and just added them into my protocol as I went along, trusting my journey. I just went along with the belief that I was healing myself, you know, 100% and and so really thought that I had. A year later, I found a lump and it was the same cancer had returned. So I knew that the cancer was aggressive and it was trying to come back. I'm a really healthy person. I've been running since I was about 25. Um, I didn't realize I could run. Um, and then one day I just decided to see how far I could go and I ran for eight miles. <laughs> So I was just like, okay. <laughs> just before I was diagnosed, literally a couple of weeks before I found the lump, I ran the North Devon Trail Marathon in five hours, which I was really chuffed with. So much training and yeah, I was just amazed that I could do it. And then it was just mad to find that I'd got cancer, you know. I wasn't expecting it because of my lifestyle choices and stuff, but I get that you know, we don't choose our lives in that broader sense. I've just had the results of a full body scan, which they did after they'd removed the last bit of this recurrence. And I got the all clear, which means that it hasn't gone deeper into my system yet, which is really good. But what the oncologist pointed out to me was that if I catch this little window of opportunity, I might be able to actually cure this cancer if we blast it it's something I've never I never thought I'd even consider um, chemo I'm totally anti all that kind of stuff but I'm I'm willing to embrace it now with the help and assistance of complementary medicines for many 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 years I've been very clean living and toxin free living a very healthy life so I just didn't want to crash my system with that horrible stuff. But now I'm seeing it from a different perspective, you know, a possible cure, just when I never thought there was going to be that option. So I just want to embrace all, all the options, all the possibilities of healing. So I would do the chemo alongside complementary treatments and therapies so that my complementary therapies and healing journey can support me through the chemo and bring me out the other side into health again. These complementary therapies are going to be the um, are going to be the thing that costs money, and that's where I'm asking for assistance. I've got a lovely support system, but it is hard being a single mum whilst having a child and dealing with cancer. And this is the reason that I am really reaching out for financial support on this journey. so grateful for any amount, great or small.